So listen, something very interesting happened on Saturday. There was a comedian named Reggie Brown who was on stage at the Republican Leadership Conference. <laughs> you are laughing already. You saw this. People I saw, saw this story. They right. stopped him short. Right. That's what happened. He was doing his act. He, he looks like Obama, and he does a dead-on impression of Obama. Okay. <laughs> he was doing his act. He went through the material that was making fun of the Democrats. They were all good with that. Then he started to talk about the Republicans, and the Sandman came out. <laughs> They literally get, show the film. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. They gave him the hook. Now, what can I say about Michelle Bachman that she hasn't already said about herself? Uh, the other day, she called me a one-term president. And then, <laughs> douchebag white guy comes out and takes him off the stage. <laughs> So we invited Reggie here to finish his act because would you like to see that? <laughs> All right. Here to finish what he started, please welcome Reggie Brown. No, I'm sorry. Please welcome the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> Michelle Bachman, and you thought black women were scary. <laughs> Last week, she called me a one-term president, but I guess that's better than George W. Bush, who was a one-syllable president. <laughs> now, Michelle has had 23 foster children. So, uh, either she's a saint, or she has a factory in her garage making iPods. <laughs> the Republican field. Uh, you got a crazy woman, a uh, fat blowhard, uh, three interchangeable pencil necks, uh, two Mormons, and the black guy from Ghostbusters. I'm just kidding, Herman King. Uh, truth be told, I'm not worried about him at all. He's one of my undercover acorn volunteers. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. He's on my payroll feeding me information about Romney every day. What, you actually thought a black man would run for president as a Republican? Please. <laughs> now you got Mitt Romney as the front runner. Mitt is what people who hate white people think of white people. <laughs> and don't forget uh, John Huntsman. And uh, now we've got two Mormons running for president. Now, the pundits say Americans won't elect a Mormon president. Uh, but then again, they said the same thing about Muslims, and look at me. Did I just say that out loud? Yeah. Now, last and certainly not least, we have Chris Christie. Now, he is the perfect Republican candidate. Uh, he's got a type A personality and type 2 diabetes. <laughs> now, in the end, simply put, they're screwed. That's right. They've got nothing on me. Now let's hear it. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. That's right. There's a new sheriff in town, and Papa's got a brand new bag. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.